Hello all, welcome to rotainis.com. In this session, we'll discuss about travel and expense module in Oracle Fusion. We'll try to understand what is this expense module is all about, the expense report templates, data migration approaches, the base table details, and the references. Okay, so let us understand what is expense is all about. So the basic overview is like a, it's a solution from Oracle Fusion ERP, and it is used for the purpose of you know like um, mentioning the expenses. And you know, like uh, it's about approval of expenses and also reimbursement of the expenses. So generally, like how the expense logic starts in the you know, fusion is, or in general is, like uh, generally, you know, as an individual or maybe corporate, you perform some expenses and those details you enter in the application, and then that will go for an approval to the manager, and then there's a chance of auditing by the third party team or internal auditing team. And then you'll be you'll get the reimbursement either to the your direct salary or it could be the corporate credit credit card or I mean, depends upon the uh, linkage of your credit card within your application, right? And generally, and also one more thing is the status. You know what happens is when you create an expense report, the initial state of your expense will be in not submitted state. Once you submit, it will become pending manager approval, and once a manager approves, it will become ready for payment processing. And once if the invoice gets created, then it will become ready for payment. So this is a high level overview of the expense data flow. And here, if you observe, like when the expense gets expense, what are the expenses which you create, right? That gets approved. And then, you know, like uh, if the status is ready for payment, this is a place where for your respective expense, an AP invoice will get created. And that for AP invoice, will get, I mean, for that AP invoice, you'll have a payment done. And then after that, it will hit the GL. That's how it goes. Nothing but like, um, expense ap invoice then the payment and the gl that's how the data flows okay so now and uh, so in any organization what happens is when you want to consider the expense module in your organization they generally go with some kind of standard approach or maybe you know, like uh, they will be configuring the template based on your requirement so this is a place where you can configure your template like a uh, manage expense report template this is a navigation this is a task for it you can just configure your particular template according to your requirement okay so other thing is like the data there are two data migration approaches or data import approaches in oracle fusion for the expense one is adfdi and other one is rest service so there is no fvda approach available to perform data migration for the expenses the only option if at all if you want to bulk upload if it's a small quantity better you can go with adfdi if it's a huge quantity and i prefer rest api okay so now how do we create expense cre expense report using ADFDI? So once you navigate to the expense travel and expense module, and you have an option, you just need to click on the gear icon, and here you have an option called create expense item in spreadsheet. It will download the ADFDI. In that, you just enter the data, and you perform the data entry, and then click on upload expense item, and then the expense report. I mean, the expense report or expense item, whichever you want to get created, that will get created in the instance. So this is how we use, this is how, you know, like you can create an expense report using ADFDI. And the next option, what we have is, how do we create expense report using UI? So the navigation for this one is you have to click on me and your application, and then you have to, you have to click on expense application, expense work area. And then in that expense work area, you'll see a create expense report. Once you click on create expense report, it will ask you what is the purpose. And you have to mention the set of items for which you want to create your expense report. So a expense report is a parent. Under the expense report, you'll have a set of expense item. You can mention n number of items. And once you once you enter all the data and you click on save and then submit, what happens is it will send the expense report for approval. And if and you know, like this is a this particular screen which I which I mentioned here, approval by manager. The manager receives your expense request, and you know, based on that, he may ask you for sending some more documents or it may go for auditing or it may, it may perform approve or it may perform bridging based on that you'll get a response right once it gets approved it will go for the ready next level of processing and then after that it will get invoice created and then you'll get a payment right so this is how you can create an expense using the ui and now so here if you, here if you observe right when the expense get created and the once a manager approves and you can see the list of statuses in the expense table the initial status will be in a saved and if the if the invoice is pending for approval, it will pending approval. If the approval status is complete, if your particular invoice is complete, it will be approval complete. And if at all, if an invoice, AP invoice is generated for your expense, the status will be invoice. Okay. So this is how the status gets changed. Saved, approval complete, pending approval, and then the invoice. And the linkage between 
an expense as well as invoice. We'll see that in the table details here. Yeah. So these are the high level details. I've not mentioned the major set of details. I just mentioned only three table details here. One is the expense item, expense report, and the AP invoice. So the linkage between all these three table is expense report ID. And in the AP invoice all table, you don't have the expense report ID column, but the value of expense report ID will get stored in the reference key, reference underscore key one in the AP invoice table. This is how you can link the expense table with the AP invoice table. And the references, these are some of the references which I have referred to prepare this particular content. Now, what we do is we'll just go to the instance and try to create the expenses in the UI as well as using ADFDI approach, okay? So now I'll navigate to my instance and here I click on me. Here I click on expenses. And here I already have a set of expenses, but now we'll just try to create a new expense. I'll click on, you can click on create item or create report, but definitely if you want to submit, you, re you require a report, okay? So I'll just create, click on create report. So I'll say internet bill, March, 2023. And I'll click on create item. So now the purpose is internet bill 2023 and I'm creating the item under it. And I'll say, you may have an option called telephone or maybe you can see whether you have any broadband or something like that. If you don't have an option, you can just, you know, like you have to configure accordingly. So I don't see any option like that. Air breakfast, internet. I don't see any internet or you can go with a miscellaneous if you don't have that. I'll say $75, okay. I'll just click on save and close. Save. If you want to add up multiple items, you can still add up here. Okay. Let's say I'll add up one more item. Save 15. Save or save and close. Okay. Save and close. And now this particular internet bill March 2023 has two lines and you know, like an initial status here, if you observe is, as of now here in the UI, it says not submitted. You can also check it from the backend in the EX expense table, EXM table. Let's see. Okay, the expense amount is 90 and uh, the status is just saved. Okay, initial status is saved. Now what I'll do is I'll click on submit. I'll click on submit. Now it is asking whether have you read the, com uh, have you read and accept the corporate expense policies? Yes, you can say that and confirm. Now click on view. Now the status will get changed from saved to pending invoice approval or Pending expense report approval. Yeah, pending manager approval. Now, what I'll do is you can also observe the manager name. So let me try to just click on see all or just refresh so that you'll understand the status get changed. And it says pending manager approval, and somewhere it shows the manager name also. Click on this. Or it may take a couple of seconds to reflect the manager name. So it takes some time. Well, let us navigate to the screen again so that we can see the manager name. Just click on yes, click on home screen. Now again, click on me and go to expenses. Okay, and can you see here? It says this the status is like assigned to, to Christine Rian. So now what I'll do is I will navigate. I mean, I will log in with the user Christine Rian and let us try to refresh the instance and I should see a notification for approval of expense, right? So let's see that you can just click on notification and as of now it is not showing anything maybe i have to log in and log out or just refresh okay now we could see the notification here and it is asking for the approval i simply say approve that's it And now we can go to the backend, the VIP, and you can see the status should change now. 
and now it says approval complete as of now invoice is not created and you will not find any invoice with this number okay now the next task what we have to do is so i have to run a job so what was job name process expense reimbursement process expense reimbursement and cash advances so i'll go here to the ess job tools process expense reimbursement and cash advances it just takes a couple of seconds to finish this program and then the invoice will get generated okay let's wait And we should see invoice with the invoice number ending with 7442. Let's see. Yep. Can you see here? The invoice number got generated in this table, AP invoice all table, and this is invoice number. So same as your expense report number, the invoice number got generated. Okay. And you can copy this in particular expense report number or invoice number, and you can navigate to payables and check out how it looks like in the payable AP invoices, right? So now I'm going to payable invoices. And we could see, we can see that it should have, this invoice should have two lines, what we mentioned in our expense report. So let's search that invoice number. Click on search. Okay. And the invoice amount is 90. And let us see the lines, whether it has two lines or not. Okay. We could see the two lines which we mentioned in the expense. So this is how the data flows from the expense to AP invoices. Now let us see the other option. How do we create the expense using the ADFDI? Okay. So what we do, navigate to expenses. And here click on this gear icon and you just click on create expense items in spreadsheet. So it will download the Excel, Excel SX file, which is nothing but an ADFDI Excel sheet. And you have to navigate, uh, what do you call login? Okay, enable editing. Let me mention the credentials. So this is my user, which I'm logging in. Okay, so let's wait for a few seconds. It will initialize and then we can enter the data. Okay, so by default, the BU was selected or you can change it if it is possible and select the expense template and expense type. So I'll go with breakfast and I'll say the amount is 35 USD. And similarly, I'll create one more line and here I'll go with dinner. I'll say a good amount, 65. Seven. That's it. I'll and I have entered two lines, and now click on upload expense expense items. Now it will ask you whether you want to create as a new report or exist existing report like that. So I go better. I want to consider these two items into a new re expense report and click on OK. Yep. So inserted successfully and you can see from UI also now maybe you can just refresh or navigate to some other screen and get back here you should see them now right right dinner and breakfast 6735 and from the back end also you can see that the only thing is like you will have uh, created source, it will be different. It says ADFDI or some other thing rather than the right. It says ADFDI and the say, status is saved and it goes, it follows the same approach. Like uh, you just need to send it for approval. It goes for manager approval. Once it is approved, it will go for invoice. And from there, you'll get the, once the invoice is approved and the uh, payment is done, the employee or maybe the to the card, it will get the amount. So this is all about, you know, like a creation of expense. 
the table details and the different approaches of creating the expense in Oracle Fusion. Thank you.